How's it going, Fix? 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 <laughs> Fix? Oh, man. Fix? Fix? We're off to a great start this month. Canadian whiskey. Oh, wait, no. This is the second week of the month. This is the second week of the month. Yeah, we're starting Cinco off. Cinco de Mayo already happened. How did uh, that work? So, Cinco de Party. Cinco de Party. I'm so mind blown from Cinco de Party. I'm, I'm so mind blown from Cinco de Party. I feel like I don't even remember how to speak English any longer. Not that I knew how to speak Spanish to start with, but... Nope. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about store picks. And we've got some store picks here in front of us. We may even drink some. Maybe we drink all of them. I don't know. What do you think? I'm drinking all of them. I'm drinking at least one of them. But welcome back to the channel. We're the Whiskey Wimps. I'm oh, I've got it all backwards. <laughs> I'm Matt. I'm Brian. We're the Whiskey Wimps. <laughs> See? Cecil on the glass. <laughs> Give my glass back. Thanks. So, store picks. What I wanted to talk about with store picks is that, well, first of all, <laughs> if, you missed the, if you missed the episode on store picks last month, I'll put a link right here so you can go back and watch it. We did some blind tasting on store picks. I messed up. I wasn't even going to bring that up. I, that, no, I admit it. I messed up. I don't I, have to admit it. It's just the truth. You don't have to admit it. I'm admitting it. Anyway, he brought it. This I'm really looking forward to try this. This is a Wilderness Trail store pick from I forgot it. Cypress Craft Beer and Spirits down in Cypress, California. Cool guys. We talked about them last time, shouting them out. They're, they're awesome. We're looking forward to going down there and giving them more business. Uh, we've got a Buffalo Trace store pick from Corked Bigsby down there in Long Beach. Got a couple of cool picks. They're not store picks, but barrel picks from the Bourbon Junkies. My favorite whiskey channel here on YouTube. I'm so flipping stoked right now. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh. We got we got some Woodford very fine rare 45%. Uh-huh. We got some Pingree red label 6 year 62%. Ooh, that's up there. We got some Blue Run 13 year 56. And we've got some Kentucky Owl Rye, batch four, 10 year. This whole show just got derailed. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, this is the same type of stuff we want to do for, for our channel. Yeah. Do things like that, like have- And if you're on the, the patrons, eventually you can be getting water too. So tell your friends, get on the patrons and you too can get surprises like we just did. I mean, this is like Christmas. This is like Christmas, and it's the, the, the temperature is feeling. Like <laughs> the temperature is feeling like Christmas, uh, at least for us Californians out here. I know you, you Michigan folks are. Christmas is. Uh, I don't think you go outside during Christmas in Michigan. I don't think that's. Uh, well, I don't. That's I'm sure you illegal. do, just to shovel your way to get out. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do something else. Do you have? I kind of. I kind of want to try the Kentucky. I mean, I'm gonna. We're gonna try all of them at some point, but just for the video, I feel like we should try the. Yeah. I mean, I kind of want to try all of them. This is a good idea to wrap too. it with this little thing to keep it I like it that idea. leaking out. That's actually very smart. Um, it's except for the people that aren't smart enough to get that. Here, you, you keep talking. I'll open this one up. Kentucky Owl, right, batch four, 10 year, 128, 112 proof. This, I, this, I want to try this. I want to start with this. Mm. Here, have a sip. Thank you. Was not expecting this at all. Super stoked. All right, so it's it's rye. We got that for sure. I've got a Kentucky Owl confiscated up there on the shelf that, honestly, I wasn't the hugest fan of the confiscated, mm -hmm. but. Oh, for a second, I thought you actually got it confiscated. <laughs> but. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Kentucky Owl is from the same folks that I have done no research on any of these so I have no idea now old Carter I want I'm I could be making that up I, I've my bourbon knowledge is not as deep as my scotch knowledge was coming into it there's still a lot still so much to learn so much to learn in the bourbon world so much you know the wind's kind of screwing the nose a bit. <laughs> that wind is coming in, dude. Is, you have ever you asked for a for a, a fan yeah for my hair <laughs> I got it. <laughs> you got it, dude. <laughs> Just missing my bowl of green M&Ms and I'd be set. Yeah, I was asking a lot. <laughs> I'm getting a mint. 
or maybe like a the, sage. The grassy, the grassiness of the rye is certainly there. Yeah, there's definitely a strong herbal mm -hmm. thing going on with this for sure. And that's that, that rye. Obviously, for those that don't know, a rye, rye is at least 51% rye in the mash bill. Definitely quite a bit of spice. It's, I'll be straight off, it's not my favorite rye that I've ever had, you know? Um, putting, mm -hmm. honestly, my two favorite ryes that I've had this year were the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye Limited Edition and the Sagamore Spirit Cast Strength Rye. Those two were, were up there for me. I think they were maybe a little heavier in, in the corn on the mesh bill. I think this is a really high rye. 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 Oh, well, you know, we did, have like this, too. we did have this rye on the table. We could compare it to this one. Let's do that. Let's, yeah, okay, so we're going to compare the Kentucky Owl Rye 10 year, mm -hmm. uh, batch four. 128 proof with the Wilderness Trail. Well, this is a store pick from the Cypress uh, craft. So it's gonna be, but it looks it looks dark. I wonder what the, you got the information on this one? Yeah. It's 119 proof, so similar proof. A little, little higher in proof on this one. Uh, I'm just curious if it has the, they have the, the yeast strain on here, what rickhouse it's stored in. It's four years, four months, uh, number four char and toasted barrel. What? Char and toasted? So, is it double barrel? Okay, mash bill is 56% rye, 33% corn, 11% malted barley, copper pot distilled from a single fermented batch using our sweet mash process and put into the barrel at 100 proof. Uh, 209 bottles total, this is bottle 86. Hit up the guys down at Cy Cypress Craft. They shipped as well, they ship stuff, so if, hold on. I mean, I'm not mad at that rye. I'm not mad at that rye, it's just not my favorite that I've had this year. So, I'm being nitpicky. I think we should compare it with this real quick. Let's see what happens. You know, it's on the table. We might as well compare it. <gasps> Sorry, I got a little... <laughs> I don't know what's happening over here. I saw you try to get a little fancy there. I can tell right with the cut, like, the, it's, it, it looks much thicker. The, it looks more viscous. <laughs> more viscous. Which I'm, I'm guessing is from the corn. You know, the, the rye tends to be less viscous from what I can tell. Again, not an expert. I just really like whiskey. It helps. And weights. Oh, see, the corn is much apparent. The, the higher amount of corn in this is much more apparent. <laughs> Every time I try to go sniff it, the wind blows. <laughs> I lose it. Yeah, I guess your nose in there with this wind going around. This is one of the, we gotta, we love our beautiful backdrop. This is one of the challenges. It, it, we, know we, we knew that we were gonna come up with challenges with the weather, whether it was rain, snow, wind. <laughs> snow. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. The corn, uh, the corn is coming in strong. Like the sweetness of the corn, it's almost like sweet corn. It's like this, almost this uh, an anise or anise or however you say it. Kind of like a like a licorice-ish. Oh, the licorice again. The black licorice. Yeah. You getting that? The black licorice. Yes. Yeah. And so it's, the, it's like the corn, the sweet corn with the. It's like if you made some blend of. And this is what I don't like about it. Is I'm being super negative this month. Uh, this is what I don't like about it. Is this. It's like candy corn with black licorice. I think this is the first episode that you've actually what been tasting has not been one of your favorites. Well, here's what I, here's what I like about it. I like I'm a huge fan of variety. I like yes. to have lots of dips. Why I've got 100 bottles in the house right now is because I like to have be able to choose all these little subtleties and pick from all these different things. And so I appreciate it. I just don't mm. like it as much as some other things I've had. I don't go for very much of the rye stuff anyway, so anytime I do get a rye, I do kind of enjoy it a little bit. I'm also a bit of a sweet tooth, so like the fact that that black licorice is in there pulling away from my candy corn, I'm, uh, like, I'm like, dude, why are you messing with my candy corn like that? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why I fell in love with bourbon too. I didn't realize what I was missing. I was drinking a lot of scotch the whole time, which was great. And that, but my favorite scotches were like the Macallans that are aged in sherry cast, so they had that kind of sweetness, yeah. to that, that dark, deep, rich sweetness to them. And I found Brimmer, I was like, most of it is deep, dark, and rich if you get the right stuff. And I was like, oh. <laughs> well, if I had to compare the two that we just had here, I'm going for this one. Okay. I'm torn because the, uh, the black licorice thing is, is kind of messing with me and I'd, I'd almost prefer the this. And then I'm also emotionally, you know, the fact that I didn't know that there was whiskey in that box. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's all. That, that wins. Water, because, Brian, it was water. Okay. Of life. Water of life. <laughs> All right, well, 
I think it's time we. I think we. I think we call it this episode. I think we're good. I think we're good. Like this is L- surprise. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think about our plans. Let let us know if you would like to see that future emerge for us and you and everyone involved. That would be. That's what I like. Join us on Patreon. <laughs> Everything is better with whiskey and friends. <laughs>